Okay, for number 12, I'm looking at it, and it's a derivative problem, and what they do is they have the slope field draft for me. So the way I would look at it, I look at, you know, the derivative is four minus y squared. I'd factor it, I'd get two minus y, two plus y, and I'm analyzing the slope at this point. And so I'm gonna, you know, this is the y, and I know it's plus or minus two. If you go after two, like you pick a number like three, plug it in, uh, you're gonna get a negative number. So I'm gonna say the slopes here would be negative, all right? Between minus two and two, I pick a zero, the slopes will be positive. All right, that's what I'm looking for in the field, by the way. Below minus two, I put minus three, I get negative slopes. I see this over here. At minus two and two, though, I'd get flat lines, though. There's zero slope there. So what I'll point out is I see two candidates for that. And the two candidates are gonna be A and B. I'm seeing slopes of one at plus or minus two. Now, by the way, the ones I'm not going to look at, because that's at, at, at the y word 2 or minus 2, I want the slope to be 1. Now, what do I want? I want the slopes um, that are above 2 to be negative, right? I, above 2, they should be negative. And looking at it, you know, I'm going to cross off b now, all right? So I'm going to say these slopes here to p to be negative. Now, granted, I may have some issues about this over here, but they just see that they're, 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 they even look more, you know, more negative to me, right? The slopes got that kind of slant to it. And I want to say between minus 2 and 2, the slope should be all positive. And I'm seeing that. And then the slopes below the minus 2 along the y-axis should be negative, And I am seeing that. So A is the correct choice. All right? A is the correct choice. Thank you.